The Batman Who Laughs was once a Batman much like the one we have come to know today, except he killed his Joker, exposing him to a nanotoxin that slowly infected his mind, transforming him into a twisted monster, free from any of his past moral constraints. This nightmare character hails from Earth-22 of the Dark Multiverse, otherwise a graveyard multiverse that is made from the fears of all living things, producing unstable Earths that suddenly appear where everything that can go wrong about a character's story has gone wrong, before that reality deteriorates into nothing. And this is specifically Batman's worst nightmare. After being exposed to an extremely virulent strain of Joker's disease, nanoparticle infection means that some aspect of Bruce would change immediately while others would take days. With the small particles being able to penetrate tissues more quickly and efficiently, bombarding cells and organs with a high blood flow, such as Bruce's eyes, while at the same time taking longer to cross the blood brain barrier to distort his mind. Keeping his intellect, the Batman Who Laughs IQ is still just as high as before, being somewhere around 250, placing him in the top 1% of humanity while being given what can be noted as a severe case of antisocial personality disorder. Characterized by pervasive aggressiveness and disregard for others, willfulness to lie and deceive, and extreme impulsivity, as he makes decisions on a whim without caring about the consequences, leading to some very unpredictable and risky behavior. At the end of the day, this is a Batman who only cares about winning and chaos. And thus, the Batman who laughs went about massacring every living thing on his world, plotting and managing to kill the Flash, Wonder Woman, Plastic Man, everyone, as if it were all a fun game, until nothing but him and his deranged Robins were left, before being contacted to spread his chaos to other worlds by the demon Barbados. While still being genetically identical to other Bruce Wayne variants and retaining his voice, he has an incredible auditory perception and a very fine control over his body, basically allowing him to mimic most anyone he wants on the spot after only hearing them once. He has broken into the Oblivion Bar, or otherwise a bar located inside a magically guarded pocket dimension, that someone can only get to via jumping through portals located around the world that only skilled magic users can see. A bar bar that served as one of the last safe points for the remaining heroes to gather to. Having shed the psychological limitations that keeps Batman from using magic, the Batman Who Laughs quickly exploded his way into the bar to destroy the remaining Justice League members who then fled. Having access to some of the strongest gear he could ever get his hands on, including a magical set of playing cards that allow him to warp reality around him to whatever he wants, he has a literal copy of a book called Multiversity a book that explores the vast and complex structure of the DC multiverse, and possesses a dummy's guide on how to destroy the multiverse. You may know that a pure metal, or a single phase metal, is one that is only composed of just one type of atom from one element, therefore being completely uniform in its composition, and being a lot weaker than an alloy, with a 100% pure metal being more or less impossible to achieve. Yet in DC, all of the Olympian gods' weapons weapons, including Wonder Woman's bracelets, are made from an extremely pure and durable metal called Eighth Metal, whose atoms are wound together so tightly that the Batman who laughs had the metal forged into bullets that he uses to instantly KO powerhouses like Wonder Woman, that is, whenever he's not driving around in his grotesque car. And conveniently, his spiked visor is made from dark metal, otherwise a fictional tastic metal that works a lot like a one-way mirror, where the brighter side serves to partially reflect the light on that side, while the darker side is still able to see the light that gets through, with this special metal allowing him to see into worlds within the dark multiverse at any given moment, and thus he can see what someone's true fears and desires are, a power that he once even used to peer into another universe to assassinate another version of himself while he stood in the other, along with him possessing a metal lockpick that being made out of this plot-breaking metal allows him to break through any any sort of prison or prison device, despite whatever technology it's made out of. He is also largely immune to most conventional weapons as beings from the Dark Multiverse, just to thicken the pot, are relatively unharmed by pretty much anything from the normal universe. As we see the evil Batman shot multiple times, take shotgun blasts, even harpoons constructed out of depleted uranium, otherwise an incredibly dense and slightly radioactive metal used in armor-piercing shells and bombs, that in this 
this instance are designed to destroy large tanks seem to just annoy him like he's being stabbed by a toothpick before being shocked with a voltage that would absolutely cause mass organ failure. And he's still more or less fine, breaking off the granite tombstones he's attached to with somewhere over 5,500 pounds or 2,500 kilograms of force or enough to bench press a small car. Even being thrown and smashed into a steel wall by Superman with enough force to splinter it or otherwise if it's anything like the three feet or one meter thick steel walls we see Batman use elsewhere means that he is taking on a low ball 300,000 pounds or 135 kilograms of force crushing his everything. But probably one of the scariest things about him is he has the chemistry know-how to isolate the toxin within himself and then go around infecting other versions of each hero if he decides not to kill them, pinging each of his targets with a special batarang coated with a toxin. That then converts other heroes like Shazam or Supergirl to his cause, who then suddenly think that everything he's doing is fine. Due to his intelligence and savagery, the Batman who laughs is the leader of the Dark Knights, or a group of extremely twisted Batman who he scoured the Dark Universe to find, to join him under the Bat Demon Barbados, all to plunge the regular multiverse into complete and utter darkness. As he teleports them around to key locations within the multiverse to bring it down, like corrupting the World Forge, taking over the magic infusing rock of eternity, as his book told him, but he managed to skip out on going to Earth 10, otherwise the Nazi Earth, Earth 146, where Superman evacuated all of Krypton's population to Earth's Atlantis that he also stopped from sinking, and Earth 42, where everyone exists as a tiny chibi, and when serving under a different god, in order to further disrupt the balance between the good and evil universes, he also captured the all-powerful being known as the Phantom Stranger, who can break the fourth wall and pause time itself, via placing him in our one shared weakness being a giant chemistry flask, followed by a seven hour long organic chemistry lab final. Other than the mammoth plot armor surrounding this Batman who somehow knows and is prepared for anything in the most gothic and disturbing ways possible, he does have one major weakness. Just as there's only so much research and science terms I can cram into a fictional character before I make you click off screaming, all beings of the dark multiverse are extremely vulnerable to the ninth and 10th metal types, that being pure cosmic metals that might as well act as quantum materials with properties not explainable by classic physics alone, are the one and only thing that seem to be able to easily harm them. And beyond that, his visor also acts as a tether to his dark multiverse. And if you were to somehow remove it, he would be forced to leave the normal universe. But if none of this was very interesting, then here's one fact I save for last. Born from Bruce Wayne's mere thought of being evil, the one and only thing that can catch him off guard is something he would never expect to happen, which seems to only be the Earth Prime Batman and Joker teaming up to give him one heck of a smackdown. At least before he goes on to have his brain placed inside of an omnipotent Bruce Wayne, who incorporates his brain making him a god called the Darkest Knight. With us going over other characters like our future Batman 1 million in these videos right here. See you in the next one.